Greetings from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Welcome back to the Crow's Nest. Boy, I tell you, <clears throat> Mother Nature needs to take some bipolar medicine or something, man. It's pretty out here today. Um, it's, I'd say about 50 degrees. I mean, I just have my little fleece on. Now, I do have my flannel on, no surprise, but um, it, it's pretty pretty decent out here. No breeze, no wind or anything. Smoking the Bethlehem olive wood shotgun shell pot. And in it, Pegasus. Because of the fact that that's what I'm using to break it in to see how that works. Because usually... I prefer to use a burly to break in a pipe, and um, I usually use an OTC. It's usually Granger or Carter Hall. So, since I've fallen in love so much with Pegasus, I decided to try to use it to break it in. Other than that, uh, my regular zip, my tamper, which I don't remember who made that for me, but it's gorgeous. I love it. It's a beautiful thing. So it is. So let's see. It's that time of year, folks, for the top five lists, top 10, top 25, whatever you want to do list. Two, three, four, five, six. I have six out here, so I have one honorable mention. No, I have seven. One, two honorable mentions. And out of those seven, one, two, three, four, I have never had until this year. How weird is that? So let's get started. Honorable mention. This is all that I've left, folks. This is it. Old Joe Krantz original. Never had it till this year, and um, I really like it. I really enjoy it. Uh, definitely, obviously, I need to buy more. So that's on the list. <laughs> I don't care for the others. I tried the others as well, and I didn't care for them as much as the original. The other honorable mention, Amphora, Virginia. Another one I've never had until this year. It, it just it kind of boggles my mind. Now, with, the, with old Joe Krantz original, I, I kind of doesn't surprise me because I wasn't really a big burly guy until real recent. Um, but uh, this here in Florida, Virginia has slipped my grasps until this year. I had an interest in trying it and really, really enjoyed it. Now I bought them. This pouch is from 2019. And it's from when I was in Germany. So, um, it's pretty cool because, like, everything on the label is written in German. And then the stamp here is in German as well. 
which I think is kind of cool. But I just never smoked it until this year, and I really like it. I'm glad I bought a couple pouches while I was over there. So that's it for the honorable mentions. Both I've never had. Now we're into the top five. We're going to start off the top five with one of my favorite OTCs. Probably my favorite OTC, to be honest. There it is. Yeah, baby. Granger. Like I said before, I use it to break in my pipes most of the time. And uh, it's just a really nice, pleasant, burly old school and I really enjoy it so um that's number five number four we're gonna skip over to GLPs and we're gonna go six pence number five number four six pence Another really good Virginia blend that I like. Um, I have a bunch of them in my cellar. This one here is dated from 2018, and uh, it's already got, it's already bubbling on both sides. I should probably check the lid. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Next up, Cornell and Deals Bijou. Now, this here is part of the Seller series. Um, it's saying that it's estimated peak time is from 10 to 15 years of being in your cellar. Now this tin is from 2018 as well. Um, I got a bunch in my cellar, so I may let some of them go, but I'm curious to try them with some age. So I may pop a tin here directly and um, test it and see how it works. I know fresh out of the tin, it's very good. It's got a lot of clove to it. Um, just a really nice flavorful smoke, folks. Uh, you can smoke it in any shape of pipe, any make of pipe. I've smoked it in meerschaums, cobs, olive woods, mortas, and it is just a great sturdy blend. Probably one of my workhorses. If it were available in bulk, I would really, really go after it. But it's not. So. At least not yet. As everybody knows, Cornell and Deal does it to where they'll start in two ounce tins. And then if it sells well, they'll bump it to an eight ounce tin. And if it sells really well out of the eight ounce tin, then it goes bulk, um, which is a good theory and it works well for them. But uh, unfortunately, some of the blends I truly love do not do bulk. Bijou is one. GLP doesn't do anything in bulk. Um, I think they do two and eight ounce tins. So, next up, we're at number two. Folks, another blend that is brand spanking new to me. The next two are brand spanking new this year to me. And um, number two is none other than Boswell's Old School. A Burley blend. It is... 
a very interesting story, and I will share that story when I do the review on it. But um, it is a newer blend to Boswell's. Fantastic Burley. It really, really has that codger feel to it. Um, when you smoke it, it just has that great codger feel into it. Number one. To no one's surprise, the best blend that I've had this year that I have truly fallen in love with is none other than Pegasus. This is an Edward G. Robinson tub. I just really like the tub and I love how it it screws tight. I love that. And I'll be honest with you, there must be some magic with these tins, these tubs, because I have not had to rehydrate this tobacco at all. Um, it's about all, so I do need to order more, but it's been consistently right at the right moisture to smoke. It's not gotten too dry or anything like that. Now, the good thing is with the screw on lid, if it were to, all I would probably have to do is throw a Huma Smart Pack in with it and it would just rehydrate itself. So that is my top five blends for 2023. I wanna thank everybody um, for your love and your support. I also wanna encourage you to hit the subscribe button, hit the ding -a dong bell, that way you know when I put a video up. Also, if you hit the more button, it'll take you into the root cellar where you will find the links for all the companies and stuff that is affiliated with me. Uh, please feel free to check those out as well. And my playlists are on my channel as well. I got a bunch of different playlists. Please feel free to check them out, including my year end playlist. So uh, please make sure you check those out as well. So. Happy New Year. Hope everyone does well, has what well, is well rather. Now I'm getting all tongue tied. And I hope everybody has a safe and happy New Year. And until we can get together, we'll pack a pipe or smoke that great cigar. Let all that you do be done in love. Y'all take care and God bless.